Good morning. Well, I'm here with a very talented guest, John Pullum, who makes these really cool creations from an everyday item, a towel. John, thanks for joining us No today. problem. Thanks for inviting me. All the me. way from the Detroit area. Drove, uh, started off at 3 a.m. <laughs> to get here, and I'm awake to full towels. And look at the creations that you made with towels. You don't just fold towels nicely. You really create all kinds this of is, animals. This is, I think, the first time I've actually folded one into a rectangular square just then. You know, it's usually <laughs> into the, the cool things. And the great thing about it, Emily, there's no pins, there's no glue, no needle so even the ch you know children can do it and how did you get anybody. started doing this I am an entertainer and a corporate speaker for my main living I travel a lot going to different you know stay at different hotels and I was on a cruise ship they were doing them on a cruise ship I wanted to come home teach my kids there were only a couple of books on it I wanted a DVD I decided to produce one and it's and it's been a hit sold anywhere from Hong Kong to Germany to the far off land of Canada. Wow, self-taught. So now when you go to a hotel or on a cruise, do you fold up the towels for the people who are coming through to clean them? I usually do. When I leave, <laughs> I leave a nice tip and I and I fold the towels. And it's almost like a pay it forward thing because I know when they go there, they'll see the towel, they'll smile, and hopefully they'll be inspired to do a little bit extra for the next guest to make them smile as well after a long journey wherever they're coming from. Well, you know we love that here with our pay it forward project yep. we have going on. Tell me a little bit about how the DVD works and I don't have an artistic bone in my body, so how difficult really is this to learn? Well, this is, like I said, the, the only time I've ever folded it into a square or rectangle. It's not too difficult to learn at all. Some of them, which is the one I'll teach you just in a second, is a folded shirt. As you can see right here, there's three buttons. There are little candies, actually, from... Uh, from the, our the break, break room. room, from your break room, <laughs> and I and I pick the kind that I like, so You're they're so not creative. they're not going back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Not, sorry, Mike. Now this is something you could do very simple. You can leave it in the bathroom if you have a guest staying yeah. for the weekend. Teach us how to do it. And real the cool quick. thing, you can also put a post-it note on the end to make it look like a little tag of the shirt, oh, and have a little cute. note and say, you know, miss you, love you, whatever. So all you have to do is take a regular bath towel. Okay. You fold it in half just about to the halfway mark. And it's not like paper origami where you have to be super precise. You can be a little bit off. Great, I tried and, the origami thing, and it didn't I work. am a little bit off, just ask my wife. <laughs> if you take it, <laughs> so's Mike. If you, can, if you can fold it just like that, just like so, just on an angle, and sure. it looks like that shirt collar. All you have to do is then bring it up here, fold it into thirds, and it looks like, almost like a terry cloth robe. Yeah. Add the three buttons. That or three simple. chocolates, the little post-it note, and it's just a little something that, you know, shows you did a little bit extra. Sure. Hopefully they won't get out of the shower and think that's a robe and then be shocked when it's only a towel. Right, exactly. Tell me a little bit about like the, the craziest place that your DVDs have ended up or who's learning how to do this? Oh, well, like I said, I'm getting calls from Hong Kong. I'm getting calls from Germany, all over. A lot of hotels, a lot of bed and breakfasts that their customers want a little bit extra. Because, you know, in today's society with all the stress, you have to feel like, you know, people are appreciating what you do a little bit. I'm also getting calls now from a lot of children's hospitals. I had a lady call in the Detroit area that's a, a therapist that works with people that has um, um, had strokes and Alzheimer's patients and what have you and trying to work with the memory trying to work with the motor the skills, motor skills yeah. and you know if you say look you can squeeze the exercise ball or whatever that's great that they can do that but if they can actually do something creative and use their energy to to make people happy great. they're getting their physical therapy as well as the the excitement all well, in with one. the election tomorrow you already make an elephant I make an elephant <laughs> And you've been requested to learn how to make a donkey. Everything, yeah, everything that I have on my DVDs, I want to look exactly, you know, if you if you walked in the room, you say, that's an elephant, that's a snail, that's a wacky looking, you know, swan or whatever. The donkey, I got a call from a hotel in Washington, D.C. that said, we, we own your products, you teach the elephant, but we have another party that wants us to make the donkey. Sure. So I actually had to get on the phone and I draw, <laughs> drew diagrams. It's not the greatest at the moment. It's still a work in progress, so therefore it's not on the DVDs yet. I'm but maybe in the next it's one. It's a donkey. It's, it's a donkey great. or a, you know, a odd looking horse. <laughs> well, <laughs> that works, you know. We're baby know. steps here. <laughs> but it's, uh, but the elephant, the elephant's one of my favorites and if you have time, do you want to learn that one in the next segment? I'll We're try to We're going to learn you. that when we come back in about half an hour. So grab a towel if you're at home and try to learn as we go along. In the meantime, I uh, I made you a rose, a white rose. <laughs> okay. I think I need the DVDs. We have a link yeah. on our website, fox17online.com. You need Click this more than I do. <laughs> magic. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Uh, Mike, Sarah, uh, it's a rose. I'm going to wait I, for the, do or no the uh, elephant, guys. Yeah, there's a thorn or seven <laughs> in there. <laughs>